Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. Yesterday I released a video called High Crimes and Misdemeanors. The core of this video is very similar to the one from yesterday, but at the end of this video I'm going to discuss the punchline. I also added a little bit more content to the core of the video, so let's watch that now. If you got a business, that, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Uh, you know, and, and climate change is a great example. You know, when I was asked earlier about uh, the issue of coal, uh, you know, under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket, even you know, regardless of what I say about whether coal is good or bad, because I'm capping greenhouse gases, coal-powered plants. You know, natural gas, you name whatever the plants were, whatever the industry was, they would have to uh, retrofit their operations. That will cost money. They will pass that money on to consumers. If there's one thing I know about New Hampshire, it's that your uh, political bull detector is pretty keen. It's pretty sharp. You know that we can't just drill our way to lower gas prices. When somebody says like the person you just mentioned, who I'm not going to advertise for, that he's going to bring all these jobs back. Well, how exactly are you going to do that? What are you going to do? There's, the, there's no answer to it. He just says, well, I'm going to, I'm going to negotiate a better deal. Well, how, what, how exactly are you going to negotiate that? What magic wand do you have? And usually the answer is he doesn't have an answer. And I am absolutely certain that generations from now, we will be able to look back and tell our children that this was the moment when the rise of the oceans began to slow and our planet began to heal. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor under the reform proposals that we put forward. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep it. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like the doctor you have, you can keep your doctor too. We will keep this promise to the American people. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, you will be able to keep your health care plan, period. If you like your doctor, you'll be able to keep your doctor. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. I also have a health care plan that would save the average family $2,500 on their premiums. And if you already have health care, then we're going to reduce costs uh, an average of $2,500 per family on premiums. And we will lower premiums for the typical family by $2,500 a year. Barack's policies will provide health care cost reductions of about $2,500 for the typical family. It's time to bring down the typical family premium by $2,500 and it's time to bring down the costs for the entire country. And if you already have health insurance, we will lower your premiums by $2,500 per family per year. The only thing we're going to try to do is lower costs so that those cost savings are passed on to you. And we estimate we can cut the average family's premium by about $2,500 per year. Barack Obama will provide rural America with affordable health care and save the typical American family $2,500 a year. The, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. In terms of, in terms of risk-rated subsidies, if you had a law which said healthy people are going to pay in, it made explicit the healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Okay, just like the people, transparent, lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States, exclamation point, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump. At least I will go down as a president. 
Now let's discuss the punchline. It's pretty basic economics that when the supply of a commodity goes up, the price goes down. The fracking boom triggered a huge increase in drilling in the United States. This caused oil and gas prices to plummet. I paid $2.12 per gallon for gas in New Mexico last week. So you most certainly can drill your way to lower gas prices. And here's the December jobs report. The unemployment rate ticked back down to its lowest level in nearly half a century, and wage gains remained near their strongest in a decade. The Labor Department's closely watched monthly employment report showed on Friday. So here's the punchline. Obama thinks you can't lower gas prices by drilling, and he also believes that you cannot increase employment through good trade deals. Obama doesn't believe in basic economics, but he does believe that he can heal the planet and slow the rise of the seas. 1,000 years ago, King Canute took his subjects down to the seashore to show them that he has no control over sea level. Just like many Obama voters, King Canute's subjects believed that their leader could control sea level. The difference being that King Canute was honest enough to tell them the truth. Barack Obama just bought a $15 million home on the beach in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. He obviously doesn't believe all the sea level propaganda which he was spouting. But apparently those Obama voters who believed that they were going to keep their health care plan, keep their doctor, save $2,500 a year in premiums, also believed that Obama was going to heal the planet and slow the rise of the seas. The tide gauge at Boston doesn't show any indication that Obama slowed the rise of the seas, but I'll be keeping my eye on it. It's unfortunate that so many Obama voters voted for him based on the style of how he spoke rather than the content of what he was saying. Barack Obama got elected twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.